we have seen panic after the Fed's QE commentary. The government is trying to convince markets that they are misinterpreting the comments that are coming out of the Fed. What is your own interpretation of what you've heard from the Fed so far? I think the, uh, as we all know, the trigger for uh, recent uh, movements in both the rupee and, of course, all other, uh, most other currencies globally, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the dollar, uh, basically uh, the, came out of the Fed's statements, uh, the chairman's statement to begin with, and then the uh, press release after the FOMC uh, in June, that uh, it was now time for the Fed to start rolling back on uh, its QE exposures. Earlier it had laid out some concrete uh, milestones, uh, the unemployment rate and the inflation rate. Uh, it's obviously starting to see those approaching uh, and that's really been the motivation for its statements in June. Of course, yesterday uh, we had the statement from the chairman saying that, well, maybe it's still going to take a while before they get to this, so that has uh, given the market some, uh, some hope, some buoyancy. But I think overall we have to recognize that eventually these QE commitments, the quantity easing commitments, are going to be rolled back. Uh, as, as the U.S. Eco economy recovers, which is showing signs of doing now, they're going to be taken away. So the question is whether uh, the global economic situation has reached a point uh, where the real factors, the real economic drivers of growth are going to keep markets going, keep assets going uh, without the support of the kind of excess liquidity that uh, they've had for the last uh, three years. And I think that's really the challenge. Uh, markets are uncertain. And when they heard the announcement, therefore, uh, they decided to, to retreat, to, uh, to pull back, to take stock of the situation. Uh, and that's what we're seeing play out now. So I expect that over the next few months, uh, the stock taking will, will happen. Uh, investors will start to look for new opportunities to, uh, to earn returns because uh, this allocation really is not a very high return allocation. It's mostly in, in very safe and risk-free assets. Uh, when that happens, uh, we will see some reversal in currency movements. Uh, the question is which currencies are going to benefit from this, uh, this reallocation. I think that's really the opportunity that uh, we have to seize. So anything we do, uh, over the next few months to reduce our vulnerabilities, to reduce our, our stresses, uh, will help to uh, attract money back to, to Indian assets. And I think that's the opportunity the government has to seize. So uh, what it needs to do is to ensure that the steps it takes to basically narrow the current account deficit. That's not going to happen overnight, of course. But uh, it needs to send very strong signals and very credible signals that these steps are being taken and will be sustained. Uh, I think that's the kind of response that we need to see from our policy establishment uh, to make sure that when the reallocation takes place a few months uh, uh, over the next few months, that India is well positioned to take advantage of it.